Hello and welcome to Launch Europe and this video presentation for our new product X431 Euro Pro 5. Um, my name is Michael Anderson. I'm Area Manager for Northern Europe and today I will talk you through uh, one of the biggest additions to our software, the new Launch Guided Diagnostic Database. This function is one of the biggest releases we have ever done for the X431 series. A function that will really change how our mechanics work in their daily operation. That's why we're really proud to show it to you. I will give you some background information first, and then we will open it up live looking at the Launch Guided Diagnostics database. Many workshops might have tested some kind of database already, but it's typically found in a very impractical way, typically installed on the office PC, where the mechanics might not even have access to it. It's too complicated to start, to enter the vehicle VIN number and all fault code information to start looking for a usable solution. With the Launch Guided Diagnostics database, everything is integrated directly in the device, all inclusive in the purchase price and without any subscription or binding. It's available in all European languages. For this demonstration, we will use the English version. When a mechanic detects a fault code in his launch device, he simply clicks on database and the VIN number and all fault code information gets transferred directly to our database, showing guided diagnostics with real solutions to the seven most common control units on all makes. These seven control units or ECUs are the following. It's the engine management, the ABS and stability control management, transmission, the power steering function, heating or air condition, uh, the additional heater function, and also the electronic parking brake. This we will now show you live in the system. This is the start screen of the Euro Pro 5. There are two ways of entering the new database. I will show them to you both. The first one is to basically click on the maintenance button and thereafter going into the launch professional database. This will directly take you to the online view of the database where you can choose which make you would like to go into. For this demonstration purpose, we will use the Volkswagen Golf 6, a 2012. We will use the 2.0 TDI. And here is how you enter the database. The second way of entering the database is by going through a fault code. To show you this, we will use the demonstration mode. This mode has five simulators where you can simulate fault codes and test the equipment. We will also here use the Volkswagen. We'll enter the engine control model and read out the DTCs, the trouble codes. Here we have three trouble codes already saved and we simply click one to enter the database again. For some models you have to also select the engine code. I will show you how to easily find what engine code the car has. Click on one for now and then click on the picture of the car for change selection. Then click on show ID location. Here for every individual make, you will find out where to find the engine code. And then you have the correct selection. We will go into the electronics and here is where we find the seven ECUs with the guided diagnostics. The additional heater, the air conditioning, the electronic power steering, the transmission, the ABS and the engine management. The parking brake system is missing on this car which would have been the seventh one. In fuses and relays, you will find all the positions.
you can click into one to find more detailed information. Select one and it will be highlighted on the picture. Here you can also find locations of different components, for example, the EOBD connector, the location of ECUs, the location of grounding points, And here you can find warning lights indicators. We will go back to all systems and enter the engine management system. Here you could, for example, enter a fault code or you can enter the canvas overview. On the left side, you have your ingoing sensors and on the right side, outgoing actuators. We can go into the coolant temperature sensor one. You will get the wiring diagram. If you click on location, you can see where this part is placed in the car. And you can click on picture to get a high resolution picture of the part and find vital information to further diagnose. Going back to the wiring diagram, you find your guided diagnostics on the left side. Here is where you step by step can solve the problem. We will follow this step two together. We will look for the port B54. We click on the link for ECU engine control unit. And we will find all the ECU information. If we click on ECU pin and connector, we should be able to find our port here. There it is. We click on show and it will take us back to where we were. To show the power of the database again in an easy way, we will use the demo mode with the Volkswagen and we will look into the three fault codes we have in the ECU for motor and one by one go through them. For the first one, we have a camshaft position sensor with a fault code. The fault code gets transmitted directly to the database. You can click on the fault code and go in to show diagnosis. Here again, wiring diagram, the location of the part, some high resolution picture and important information. And again, going back to the wiring diagram, you have your guided diagnostics on the left side. Go through them step by step to solve the issue.
we will go to the second fault code, an oxygen sensor with a fault code. Also here, we enter the show diagnosis. And we find the similar information as previously shown. Even some detailed information about waveforms. We go to our guided diagnostics and we start to troubleshoot. In this example, we see, for example, that we should check for a fuse. We can easily find the location of the fuse. We will go to the third example. Here we have system pressure high. We enter the show diagnosis. And get all the information we need to start troubleshooting. I hope this information was helpful for you to use your new Euro Pro 5 and how to work efficiently with a launch guided diagnostic database. Thank you very much for tuning in and goodbye.